Um, Bill Hill down in Southern Oregon raised him, and uh, they started him and did a really good job with him. B.J. Campbell, I think I bought him from them, and then I bought him from B.J. So I'd gotten him, I guess, in 2009, and and been riding him on and off when I had Armadillo and Bullseye. They were kind of at the at their peak, and kind of found him as a good prospect. And, Kind of had time to kind of help him along, and, and every time I rode him, I'd always do good on him. And then he just got seasoned. He was real spooky, um, real spooky horse. Every, every once in a while, he'd buck with you in the middle of a run, or buck with you when you go to throw, and he just always shied from everything, and just kind of just a real watchy type of horse. And and you know, these last few years, he's gotten to where he had seen enough things and been around enough things that he really did start to kind of mature and. Little things didn't bother him quite as much, and um, just put a just a, a really really broke horse, very very sensitive with your feet and in your hands and everything. So it took it took a lot of rodeo and almost just to kind of be good for him to almost unbreak him a little bit where he didn't move from every little movement and stuff. So and then once once he caught on, he just gosh, he was such a reliable horse, especially in the summertime rodeo, and that's that's when he was the best and uh, scored really, really well, finished really well. Um, really pretty horse, like he was, you looked at him and he just kind of had that flaxy mane and that roan that kind of went through his his, uh, his flanks and stuff like that. And just just a, a real real cool horse, real pretty horse and fast, fast-footed and I sure, I sure miss him, that's for sure.